Hey, good morning. Well, you know, I took a couple of good steps forward with this Axelson, and I just took a step backwards. I'll show you what happened. Um, I uh, cut this uh, back plate up here, and uh, for this uh, little six jaw, all I got to do is drill it for the uh, for the mounting holes, but. An odd thing happened. I was uh, cleaning up that cast iron from that. And uh, I moved the carriage back here. And all of a sudden, you can <laughs> you can turn this, but the carriage don't move. And it didn't go snap or anything. It just let go. So it's kind of weird. You can see you can turn the wheel and uh, the clutches, the cross feed and the longitudinal feed clutches are rotating. But, uh, you know, I, I knew a guy a long time ago that had one of these and he had the same problem. And uh, I remember he bought, uh, he got a hold of the OEM, which I think is Feet Rooter or whatever that is. And uh, Veet Industries, I think they're the Axelson OEM or one of them. And uh, it cost him a thousand bucks. <laughs> but I'm, I'm hoping I can fix it. It's uh, something to do with uh, a clutch gear or something. But uh, I got all the screws out of this. It, it just didn't take very long at all. Um, I got to take these um, nuts off the uh, clutches and uh, then this whole front should just pop off. And uh, I will be back with that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about as good a view as I can provide here. I've got the um, bolts out. And I got this cracked loose and I had to remove the uh, cross feed dial to pull this cover off the rest of the way. So here is a YouTube exclusive of a uh, uh, apron on an Axelson being removed. The front cover, and here it is. Ugh. Not too awful heavy. Okay, that's what stuck with it. There's uh, part of that. Uh, oh, well, we got some needle bearings in there. Got to watch those. Okay, I'm gonna set this here. Loose needle bearings in the cage there. Oh, that's fairly heavy. Okay, I'll take the camera loose and we'll have a look in here. Try to figure out what happened. Oh, okay. Well, here's the cross feed. And, uh, Somewhere in there, I I don't know if, if I'm going to have to uh, take the top of the carriage off to get these uh, uh, these gears loose here. Here's the half nuts here. So somewhere in here, it's broke. Oil pump. I don't know if that's going to come out of there. It kind of looks like I'm going to have to take the top of the carriage off to, uh, to get in there because the clutches for the cross feeds here. It's almost like maybe that'll come out of there. I don't know. Huh. 
Okay, see, it's kind of uh, under that uh, overhang kind of thing there. Uh, we'll see. Huh. Well, that's a little bit different. I was hoping I uh, didn't have to take the top of the uh, carriage loose, but it sure looks like I'm going to have to uh, do that. That shouldn't be too hard. They make this uh, machine quite easy to work on. Very surprising. Here's how that oil pump limiter works here. It just controls how much uh, this arm uh, returns, I think. Huh. So the longitudinal clutch is here. I don't see no metal in the bottom or anything. I'll just have to investigate further. Okay. Well, I found a problem up here. I, I kind of pulled the shaft back and uh, I don't know if you can see up there, but there's a, a broken bearing up in there. So I'm going to have to pull the top of the carriage to uh, get these gears out, it looks like, especially the one with the broken bearing there. And... Uh, see what's going on i think the i think the problem uh with the clutches is between these two uh gears here i think that's where the <laughs> the clutches are anyway and uh, here's the half nut mechanism i maybe they maybe they come out oh uh, whoa yeah look at that this uh Lathe has just hardly been used for threading at all. Those half nuts are just, uh, that's, that's great. I wonder if the other one comes out. Let's we'll see. It does. Just like, whoop. <laughs> that, they're pretty heavy. I should have uh, two hands on that. What in the world is that? I guess that's some kind of uh, uh, limiting screw or something. That's, that, that's pretty weird. Uh, where it comes from there. I guess the other one has it too. Maybe that's uh, how the uh, engagement there is. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Th this is the kick out, I think, uh, for the feed. This, this is the kick-out mechanism. You set the collar here, and this is an adjuster here. So uh, it stops the rod, then uh, pulls, the, pulls the feet out. That's it, really a, a pretty nice design. I'm kind of disappointed I have to take the top of the carriage loose, so. though. <laughs> That's really pretty well made. Okay. Well, I will be back. I'll, I'll get that uh, top of that carriage loose here. Yeah, that looks good. I think you can see what I'm doing. I uh, had to take the carriage top loose, which uh, was real easy. Then I, uh, I got it uh, <laughs> held up with some sticks and some screw jacks. Now, let's see if we can get this part out of there. Yeah, you see, it's got a busted bearing here. And I was hearing it go crunch, crunch. So that needs to be fixed. Now, the clutch is in here. And I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm dig this stuff out of there. It looks like there's something, bro a broken bearing in here. See if we can 
get that separated? I don't know. But that's that's the clutch. It looks uh, like I got a. That's probably a bearing. And I, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it's in pieces. But you know what the good news is? There's no broken teeth that I can find. Well, let's see how this if this other stuff will slide out. Ugh. There we go. Oh, big needle bearing back in there. Here's the pinion for the rack. Let's see what we're looking at with that. All those, those, those gear teeth are in great shape. You see that? Really nice. Yeah, that runs the carriage back and forth on the rack. Got a thruster here. I'll keep that there. Uh, let's look around and see what we got. Okay, this stuff comes back. Okay, this is the longitudinal feed clutch here. And it works, it works good. And uh, is it, it's got a ball bearing there and a thruster. Then it's got a spring here to separate it when you let loose of the uh, lever. Let me see if that one, that part will come out. Yeah, on a ball bearing. Okay. Now, this is the part I think that uh, the guy I knew had to replace. Because he said there was a pinion on the clutch. He might have had to replace these two pieces, but it was quite expensive about 30 years ago anyway. So that's how the uh, longitudinal clutch works. See, the lever pushes together and these have uh, tapered faces. It's a tapered face on there and a tapered face in there. So the longitudinal clutch looks good. That's interesting, isn't it? It's like it's totally disengaged. Well, these these pieces look good. It's a feed rod. Isn't that interesting? How that all goes together. The parts are big or hard to <laughs> hard to mix up, huh? Now this is part of the uh, oil pump. See that? Look, it even squirts some oil out here. <laughs> okay, now that runs off of... Ah, right here. Here's the cam for the oil pump. And it runs on this roller here. Big old roller. Runs on that eccentric that's cut into the gear. You know, this was all very, very simple. But my pro <laughs> it looks like my problem is right in this mess here. And hopefully, I'm going to have to get this on a bench and uh, get it apart in a vise or something. 
because I can't pull it apart by hand. And there should be a spring and uh, uh, the faces of the clutch. And I, boy, that's just, uh, it's just got broken up. A broken bearing or something in here too. Okay. I think it's fixable. <laughs> Okay, I'll try not to drop this on my fingers and I'll, uh, I will probably load this video and, and clean this up. Okay, thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a good day.